Uh, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, on today's video, uh, for those who are joining me for the very first time, I do uh, say feel welcome. And for those who are joining me from as regulars, uh, I do uh, say thank you for following my channel. And I would uh, recommend if you like this video or any of my videos that are out there, please do give, give me a thumbs up, a like, and uh, do consider also subscribing. On today's videos, I will dive in into one of my favorite uh, dishes. I have been meaning to do this dish for a long time, but since because we live in the UK, I haven't quite found uh, the the spices that I want to do uh, for making pilau rice. But the other day I was just in the supermarket uh, stocking on my spices and I found what I wanted. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but this is a commercial uh, made uh, pilau rice uh, spice uh, for UK based residents. Uh, that I presume might be people like me and people who love Asian and African culture uh, dishes. So without further ado, let's dive in and I will show you the special spice that I bought and also the ingredients that you need to make your pilau rice. So let's crack on. So this is all what that you need to make your pilau rice. So I have uh, one kilo of pork uh, meat uh, diced. I have uh, two small onion diced as well. I have two tomatoes uh, small uh, uh, diced as well. I have garlic uh, chopped in small pieces and I have ginger chopped as well. I have sea salt about uh, uh, one tablespoon i have uh, whole cloves and i do have ginger these ones i will be breaking into uh, small pieces but not too small because after the cooking is done you can always pull this uh, out and then i obviously have what i found from the supermarket which is a swaz um, pilau rice seasoning which I will probably be using half of it. I do not know how um, intense it is, so I will be checking out. If it doesn't quite uh, work well with my taste bud, I might add a little bit of hot curry, but add, uh, uh, curry powder. But at the moment, I am sticking to the ingredients that I have, and then, yeah, we will see how it all turns out. And then I have a kilo of uh, plain rice. This is basmati rice. You can. This is one of the best rice that you can use for making pilau. But back in Kenya, I usually we usually make uh, pilau with uh, pishori rice, which is very good. But basmati is also very good rice. I like thin and long grained rice. is good for making pilau. So let's crack on. It's just a matter of putting um, the oil. First of all, what you need to do is to put your spices before you put the onion into the pan and burn them a little bit and then now we add onion and we add the tomatoes so yeah let's go to the store uh, using a hot uh, pan uh, just pour in uh, oil whatever cooking oil you like uh, I use raised rapeseed oil uh, in the oil after it's hot enough put in your whole cloves and then uh, cut the cinnamon stick into small pieces and let it uh, simmer burn for a few minutes and then add in the garlic uh, the fresh garlic and the fresh ginger and allow it to cook for a couple of minutes don't let it pan out just uh, you're doing this to release the aromas in all 
uh, the spices and after that is when now you add in your onions The onions are in and now I will allow it to simmer for a while before I add the tomatoes. So just um, stir and then cover it and after that is when you add the tomatoes.
with the tomatoes in you've also put in the pilau the rice uh, pilau seasoning uh, I did have the bottle this is for a kilo of rice so depending on how much you're cooking then make sure you're not over seasoning just use enough for me that is um, a kilo of rice so I use half the bottle of the seasoning I don't know what that amount could be but you can always taste to see if you want it to be too spicy or just mild and then after the mixture is cooked up that's when you add in your meat make sure you actually stir in the meat so that the flavors of the seasoning they come together they infuse together and then pour in a little bit of hot water and let it simmer for about 45 minutes but if you are cooking beef I would advise for you to let it simmer on low fire for about an hour before you can be able to add in your rice because remember pork cooks quite fast and beef takes quite a long time because it's a kind of a tough meat So the meat sauce is ready the spices have infused into the meat and then now it's time for us to add in the rice make sure you wash the rice I usually wash mine don't overwash it because you don't want it to be so soaked with water because that way it makes it it makes um, the rice become very gluey so you want your rice to still come out one grain uh, apart so that's why when you wash your rice wash but do not overly wash the rice so like two or three rinses are more than enough so as you can see i am mixing up the rice that is already washed and before i can pour in uh, water so make sure the ratio of the water is two-thirds of the amount of rice that you have so for me uh, it's a kilo of rice so that's about six uh, glasses of water uh, so you want to make sure that you are not putting too much water because when you put too much water then the rice will be so soaky and it will tend to be sticky together and it won't be the right consistency that you want and at the end you will see the trick that we usually use in Kenya on how to cook a perfect pilau rice at the end after it's almost cooked we usually cover it with uh, foil aluminium foil and cover it and then we allow it to cook while the stove or the oven um, rather the fire is off
As you can see, the rice is now ready. Uh, I have covered it for about 15 minutes and that way you just allow it to cook uh, some more uh, while you don't allow the water to evaporate you let uh, it to st still continue cooking but you've already turned off the heating and that's how it has turned out and I am loving the way it's looking and yeah there we go that is pilau rice as I know it back at home and you can see I am ready to dive in so is the entire family it is a very simple recipe yet is something that you can pull off at home and yeah it is smelling I wish you could just smell it through the screen but it actually smells and I'm sure it's going to taste absolutely delicious. So yeah, if you like this recipe, please be sure to try it at home. Uh, you already seen the ingredients. They are readily available in the UK. And uh, yeah, please do give me a thumbs up, a like. Um, consider to subscribe. And let's keep this journey going. But um, as you know, I am starving. So is the rest of the family. So without further ado, uh, let me pan off from there and say thank you very much for watching. And I do hope to see you in the next one when I will bring some more um, recipes and new cuisines. So thank you and bye.